If you're new here, my name is Jasmine and today's video is going to be all about goal setting and just resetting your life for the new year that is to come, 2022. Um, if you're new here, don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. As we all know, it is that time of year, it is New Year's again, um, 2021 is over and I think it's not only important to reflect on 2021 but also just to set some goals and get ready for 2022 um so i'm just going to talk about some of the goals that i've set for 2022 and some of the things i've done just to prepare for the new year um in previous years in like the past couple of years i've done new year's resolutions which i'm pretty sure we all know what that is you basically just set goals um for the new year and in the past in these past few years like my whole family like we've all just done like one goal for the year and for me personally this has been really effective um, the past couple of years, I found myself like actually meeting that goal um, that I set uh, at the beginning of each year. And so this year, I kind of wanted to continue that, but I wanted to set more goals um, since I found that this method was being so effective. My goal for 2021, it was to be like stronger, to be more physically strong. I took a weight training for a women's class at my school to fulfill like my PE requirement and I actually really enjoyed it. So. I definitely have been like going to the gym consistently um, for the past year, a couple times a week, and um, I've definitely seen results. So to prepare for 2022, the first thing that I did or I'm kind of working on right now is just like decluttering everything, um, decluttering my room, like cleaning up, and also just like organizing my laptop and everything like that. Um, as a college student, I have like a lot of files still on my on my laptop from this past semester, so I kind of just went through and deleted everything that I don't need anymore um, and everything like that, just to feel nice and decluttered for 2022. And so the next thing I did was um, I made a mood board for 2022. I know that's a very popular thing that people do to start off the new year. I've never done it before, and I actually really enjoyed it. I made my mood board on Canva, um, and it was really easy. And I also made it as like my wallpaper for my laptop so whenever I open it like I can see it and remind me of my goals um, for 2022. It's, I can't really see it but it's right here. Okay so to start off um, kind of how I started my mood board and just like goal setting for 2022. The first thing I did was think of three words to describe how I want my year to go and kind of just like three main themes to focus on. So these words for me are confidence, peace and positivity. I chose these words for a number of reasons. For confidence, I think that's something I've always lacked. I've always had been very quiet, very introverted, and um, just not a confident person. And I've definitely like seen myself become more confident this past year, and so I definitely want to continue that into 2022 and just be fully confident in myself. And I think I'm getting there. Um, I chose positive just because one of my friend Crystal, my best friend Crystal, she was telling me how she really appreciates how I'm always very positive. I don't know, that's still always stuck with me. I've never told her that, but Crystal, if you're watching, thank you for saying that because I definitely want to continue to be a positive person. I chose peace just because I do have a lot of anxiety. I just got a lot going through my head, a lot, and it's definitely had a negative impact on my life. And so I just want to, you know, just be at peace with myself. Yeah, those were like my three main themes for um, 2022. So now I'm gonna move on to just like more specific goals within 2022. One of the things that I wanna continue for 2022 is fitness. Like I said, I definitely met my goal of becoming strong, more physically strong um, for 2021. And so for 2022, I just wanna focus on fitness. One of my goals I have is that I wanna reach a thousand subscribers on YouTube. So if you're watching this, subscribe to my channel because I'm gonna be more consistent and I'm gonna post some really cool videos that you don't want to miss it so subscribe ever since i started posting videos on youtube like my subscriber account has been going up very slowly i want it to just i want it to start going up a little bit faster and so i'm gonna do everything i can to do that another goal for me is that i want to get good at makeup because i'm 21 years old and i don't know how to do like a reg just like a regular makeup look just like a basic one with like foundation a little bit eyeshadow like blush like all that like i just haven't been able to do that and i feel like when there's a time where I should probably wear makeup like 
I'm just not wearing it. And so I definitely want to get good. At, I definitely just want to get good enough to be confident and just wearing like a basic makeup look out to a dinner, you know, or out to an event. Actually, just before this video, I went to Ulta. I got a Ulta gift card for my birthday for some of my friends at SNU. So I really appreciate that from them. And um, I got some stuff at Ulta, so I thought I'd just show you guys what I got. I got some setting spray. Um, this is the brand e.l.f. A lot of things I got were from e.l.f. because it was so cheap in that little section. You know, I was roaming e.l.f. I was roaming Ulta and like I didn't know where to go. Um, and like I was seeing some very expensive products but then I ran across the e.l.f. section. I was like, oh, $10 period. So yeah, this is a e.l.f. the e.l.f. setting spray. Um, I got two, I got two eyeliner pencils from e.l.f. I got one in like a brown color and one in a black color. You know, depending on the mood, you know. I got um, a brow pencil from NYX. I got some translucent setting spray or translucent powder from e.l.f. And then I got some putty bronzer from e.l.f. as well. And this is the shade Honey Drip. So hopefully it works for my skin color. Um, I got some primer. This is the Hydrating Face Primer. It's a blue bottle. And then, these little things were so cheap. It's just like a blush and highlighter uh, duo set. And I got two colors. Um, they're like $3 each, so I got that. And then I got two brushes from e.l.f. Um, I got a contour brush. And then this is like a brush for powder. And then, um, I also got some more makeup right before my birthday um, in November. And I got like some foundation some new foundation and some concealer so i think i have like a good collection to start and to be able to do like a basic makeup look so stay tuned okay so another one of my goals for 2022 is i want to learn how to sew and you know i've been watching project runway and it's just been really inspiring like i i just want to learn how to make my own clothes i'm very into fashion and I just think making my own clothes be actually so cool. Like, I could be pulling up somewhere and they'll be like, oh my gosh, where'd you get your outfit? And I could be like, I made it. I also want to start doing weekly and monthly planning. Um, I've definitely gotten into like using a calendar and using Google Calendar this year. It's been like a life changer for me. I'm just, I feel like I'm very much more organized using Google Calendar. And I feel like if it's not on my calendar, like I'm not gonna know about it, like I'm gonna forget. So I definitely want to get more into that. I also have like a written planner. I think that's back in my dorm at school. But I definitely want to start using that for weekly planning and just like weekly goal setting. Um, because I think these are methods that will be able to help me reach these like bigger goals that I have for 2022. And I think I can achieve those goals by um, doing some weekly monthly planning um, and weekly monthly goal setting as well. Another thing that I want is I want to get an internship for summer 2022. I just, I definitely want to get a job for this summer, hopefully like in a new city and just like have that experience. So those are my goals for 2022. With that being said, I hope everyone has a happy new year and happy 2022. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.